Hey guys, and, and now I'm back with another TF2 video because I'm a freaking loser. Uh, fucking loser, whatever. Uh, I guess today I'm gonna do the final, uh, 2016 loadout that I've been doing. I've, uh, my Wi-Fi's been cut off for, like, past two days, I think? Um, which is pretty bad because I couldn't play TF2 unless I wanted to play with bots, but I didn't really want to, so, you know. But now I can do the Medic, Sniper, and Spy loadout, so, uh... And it's lagging. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's totally fine, you know? But, uh, I guess let's get right into it. So first off, we're gonna play with Medic. Now, uh, each loadout has, like, a different, uh, Medic gun, but I'm just gonna go with my main one. So, uh, uh it's actually not this. <laughs> so my main loadout for Medic actually consists of the Crusader's Crossbow, which has no headshots, and it's 75% uh, I mean, less primary ammo on the wear. But it fires special bolts that can heal enemies and damage uh, opponents based on the tr distance traveled. So the more distance it travels, uh, the more damage it does. And it reloads automatically when it's not active. Uh, I use the Uber Saw, which has 20% less firing speed, which you'll hardly notice. And you get 25% per, uh, Uber whenever you uh, hit someone with it. And everyone says this is the best weapon for Medic, and I have to say, I agree. It really is. And then this one is kind of controversial after uh, the Meet Your Match update, but I like to use the Quick Fix. Um, it has 40 plus heal rate and 10% uber charge rate, but it's uh, less uh, overheal, five, 500 overheal. And it's an uber ability lets you uh, charge uh, heal teammates in like a matter of seconds. So like healing someone will take like one second at all. And you, uh, you also mirror the blast damage and shield charges of patients. Uh, so... If a demo man is charging, you charge with him, and if a, uh, a uh, soldier is rocket jumping, you rocket jump with him. Now, uh, after the Meet Your Match update, all meta guns were included to have this one ability that was on the quick fix previously. It was where you could match the speed of your targets. So if you were healing a scout, you could go as fast as him, but now it's on every uh, Uber, uh, Uber gun, which is why not many people use the quick fix anymore, but the reason why I use it is because I'm not a pocket medic. I don't like doing that, unless I'm trying to win the game. Like, I mean, I always try to win the game, blah blah blah, unless it's on high tower. but... I hardly ever become a pocket, because that is just stupid to do. Oh, I'm gonna go and heal this heavy the whole game and crouch behind the cart? Yes. No. You heal as many people as you can. Don't be a pocket. It gets you less uber uh, over time, and it just makes you a big dick whenever someone's calling for medic, and you're just focused on the heavy that has a... a Thomas Lava, okay? Don't do that. But, uh, this really is a fun weapon to use for me. Or, uh, Medigun. There's not much with my cosmetic loadouts. I usually put a Gibbous on him because for some reason people hate the Gibbous. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, to, uh, Sniper Loadout. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, I use the same one as Funk. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know him back then. Uh, I didn't even know about him back then. So, uh, my sniper loadout, my main one, consists of the Machina, and as you can see, I crafted it. On full charge, it does plus 15 more damage per shot, and on full charge, projectiles penetrate players. And it cannot fire unless zoomed and fires tracer shots, so if you fire, they can trace it to where you went. Cozy Camper, you get 4%, or you get up to 4 health regenerated per second on wear, and since the sniper is away from the battlefield, that's actually really good, because the medic isn't going to really heal you. No flinching when aiming in full HP charged. And knockback is reduced by 20% while aiming, so you don't fly as much. And then I use the Trouble and Achieve, which has a 50% damage penalty, but on hit, targets bleed for five, for uh, 6 seconds, which could reveal spies and actually does a lot more damage than you think. Why do I use this loadout? I'm not the best to spy. Well, I mean, my stats. But uh, I really don't really care about getting headshots. I will try and get the headshot, but if I get a body shot, I won't care. If you're honestly one of the people that goes, Oh my god, he body shot me, what a loser, then go fuck yourself. It's a game. Calm down. Like, holy shit. I don't know how many people I've met that complain about him. And it's also good for when you're training a sniper, because that means that you don't always have to hit someone in order to, for them to be, uh, uh, killed. Because if you're fully charged, Machina does even more damage. So that's really good. And then my cosmetic loadout is, a. Uh, the Ko Koala Compact, which is a running joke with one of my friends. It's got, it's got two styles. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good. 
And then uh, I got one for uh, the Luxman, the Huntsman. Uh, Huntsman, which is basically a different style of playing sniper. You have 12 arrows, but you, well, you've probably used it. The Cleaner's Carbine, which secondary fire when charged, grants mini crits for 8 seconds, dealing damage fills up the charge bar, but it has 20% less clip size, 25% fire, lower firing speed, and no random critical hits. And I have the Bushwhacker, which deals crits whenever normally mini crit, but has no random critical hits and 20% damage vulnerability on wear. But this is only when it's active. Why do I use this? The uh, Crikey meter on here will grant mini crits for 8 whole seconds. You set with the bush racket and you have eight seconds of pure crits. Which uh, can make a lot of players mad and it's really funny. Uh, I like to use it with the huntsman because uh, that can also let you do mini crits uh, arrows. And if you're really good with the huntsman, then and since you always get headshots, it's probably going to do a lot of damage. And then I have the world traveler's hat on. And now here comes the spy. Oh. Damn you, Shpi. I always get mixed up with my loadouts, I'm always using different ones, because I'm this one. Uh, so my usual one, I might have to reassemble here, is actually kind of weird. I like to use Lutron J, 40 plus cloak duration, 15% plus cloak on hit, and 20% damage penalty. My sufficiently lethal specialized kill streak can kunai, I got it in a trade. You only have 75 health. But on backstep, absorb the health from your enemy, and uh, it also uh, takes away all negative effects like afterburn, bleeding, everything. And I mean, just look at that. It's got kill streaks and a sheen. Oh. The Dead Ringer, which 50% 50, uh, 50 cloak regenerate and 40% cloak duration, but you get less cloak from um, ammo packs. What, why do I use this? You can drop a fake corpse when you're taking damage, which could be really, really good in some situations. I've gotten behind a lot of enemies for it. And then the uh, regular sapper. But I like to use another loadout sometimes. And it's this one. Sometimes I replace the uh, Dead Ringer with a regular Invis watch. But the Eternal Reward, while it can't, while you can't uh, disguise on at will, at will, you can do a successful backstab against a human target. You rapidly disguise as your enemy. So if you go and stab a heavy you can disguise the heavy rapidly where no one, where almost no one notices it. And the body is cloaked uh, whenever, whenever it gets attacked, and there's no attack noise from backstabs, which means the enemy doesn't see it in your, uh, in their, uh, goodness, I can't say it, I don't know what it is, I can't say it, in their overlay, I'm gonna say that, oh, the kill feed, sorry, they don't see it, so say you kill little Timmy 101, they don't see Sith Destroyer, uh, backstab little Timmy 101, which could be really good because that means that you can just disguise as him. Uh, if I had a, uh, if I had uh, the uh, mysterious fe uh, familiar Fez, I would actually have the whole set for the Saharan spy. Oh, I really do want it. Come to be. It'd be very good when I if I had it. I gotta look that up. Let's see if I can trade for it. And also, it's not showing over here. Oh, here we go. I have one special taunt. Uh, it's called the Buy a Life. And I'm going to show you two right now. Here, keep the change. This is when I kill one of my friends. I actually have two of them. I'm going to go and trade one later, probably. But uh, it's one of the cheaper taunts. But it can still get me like a three refined metal, and that's pretty good. So. Um, yeah, mate, yeah. But, um, I guess it's the end of the whole loadout thing. So, um, give me money, please. I need some money. I need some money, but, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'll be uploading this probably later, uh, but, um, a.